Welcome to Math Talk Month. This is our first episode of our Grade 8 series. For today's episode, we will be talking about common monomial factoring. Let us start with the definition of factoring. Factoring is the reverse of multiplication. It is finding the factors of a given number. And to be able to factor, we must know what prime factorization is. Prime factorization is the process of getting the prime factors, or it's the process of expressing a number as a product of its prime numbers. And what is a prime number? A prime number is a number greater than 1 that has no divisors other than 1 in itself. For example, 2, 3, 5 and 7 are all prime numbers. Alright, let's jump into one example. We'll start with a simple number 8. Now, our goal is to express 8 as a product of prime numbers. And here's how we do it. So this is a case-to-case -case basis or scenario. You may first think of the smallest prime number that divides 8, if it's possible. In this case, it's 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this gives us 4 and 2 as a factors. Now, as we look at 4, it's still not a prime number, so we still need to find its prime factors. And these are 2 and 2. And there you have it. The prime factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2. Another example, let's have 48. And 48 can be factored into 6 and 8. Then check if these two are prime numbers. Since they're not, we need to factor these two further. Let's start with 6. The smallest prime number that divides 6 is 2. Divide 6 by 2 gives us 3. So we write it down as 2 times 3. Next is 8. The smallest prime number that divides 8 is 2. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we write it down as 2 times 4. Now, as we look at 4, it's still not a prime number. So we need to factor this further. And the smallest prime number that divides 4 is 2 again. Divide 4 by 2 gives us 2. So we write it down as 2 times 2. Putting it all together, we have prime factors of 48 are 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times Next, one of the foundation of factoring is to understand how to find the greatest common factor. Let us recall it. GCF is also known as greatest common factor. It is the highest factor that is present in both numbers. For example, let us find the GCF of 4 and 196. And here's how we do it. First, find the prime factors of each number. Let's start with 4. The prime factors of 4 are 2 times 2. For 196, it can be factored into 14 times 14. And 14 can be factored into 2 times 7. I have 2 times 7, 2 times 7. Next is to identify the common prime factors. 
And the common prime factors of 4 and 196 are 2 and 2. To find the GCF, you need to multiply the common factors. So you have 2 times 2 is equivalent to 4. So therefore, the GCF of 4 and 196 is 4. Another example, find the GCF of 13 and 39. 13 is a prime number itself, so its prime factorization is just 13. Next, let us find the prime factors of 39. And the prime factors of 39 are 13 and 3. And both 3 and 13 are prime numbers. Next is to identify the common prime factors. And the common prime factor of 13 and 39 is 13. Therefore, in this case, the GCF of 13 and 39 is 13. To understand factoring more, let us consider the following examples. In this case, we're going to find the greatest common factor of each pair of monomial. For variables, we will treat them as a prime factor. Let us start. So the given is 22m and 99mn. Let us begin with 22m. The prime factors of 22m are 2 times 11 times m. For 99mn, we have 3 times 3 times 11 times m times n. And as you can see, the common factors are 11m. Therefore, the GCF is 11m. Next. We have 2v and 80v squared w. For variables with exponents like this, the number of times you will write the variable depends on its exponent. Let us start with 2v. The prime factors of 2v are 2 and v. For 80v squared w, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 and we have two v's here so that is v times v and then w right then let us identify the common factors and the common factors are 2 and v therefore the gcf is 2v Next, we have negative 4p squared q and 32pq. In this case, we will just ignore the negative symbol. Or you can just factor this negative 4p squared q as negative 1 times 2 times 2. So we have 2p, so that is p times p and q. For 32pq, the prime factors are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times p times q. And what are the common factors? We have 2, another 2, p, and q. The common are 2 times 2 times P times Q. We're going to multiply it. The GCF is 4PQ. There you have it. Let us have another example. But in this case, we're going to find the factor of the following binomial. And in getting the factor of binomials, we will first get the GCF of the two terms. 
and the GCF will serve as one of its factors. So here in our example 25m plus 5, let us find first the prime factors of each term. So let us begin with 25m. The prime factors of 25m are 5 times 5 times m. For 5, since 5 is a prime number itself, so its prime factorization is just 5. And then let us identify the GCF. They are common with 5. So the GCF is 5. While getting the GCF, we will also take note of the remaining factors. And the remaining factors will serve as our binomial factor. And as for the remaining factor for 25m, we still have 5 times m is 5m. And since there are no remaining factor for 5, we will use 1. Next, we will form a binomial with the remaining factors using the operation of the given binomial. So in this case, we have addition. Therefore, the binomial factor, let me just write it here. The binomial factor is 5m plus 1. As a result, the factor of 25m plus 5 is 5 times 5m plus 1. And there you have it. Another example, 15y raised to 5 minus 3y squared. For 15y raised to 5, the prime factors are 3 times 5. And just expand y raised to 5, so we have 5y's here. And for 3y raised to 2, we have 3 and then 2y's. Okay, what would be our GCF? Right, so they are common with 3 and 2y's. So the GCF is 3y raised to 2. And as for the remaining factors, right, so we have here 5, and then how many y's? We still have 3y, so that is y raised to 3. And for this, we have 1. So using this operation, the binomial factor is 5y raised to 3 minus 1. So therefore, the factors of 15y raised to 5 minus 3y squared is 3y raised to 2, 5y raised to 3 minus 1. For our last given, we have 6w4 minus 10w plus 2w. This is also a binomial because we can combine these two terms, which gives us 6w raised to 4 minus 8w. Right? Let's factor it. Let us begin with 6w raised to 4. The prime factors are 2 times 3. And just expand W raised to 4. So we have 4 Ws. And for 8 W, the prime factors are 2 times 2 times 2 times W. So what would be our GCF for this? Right. So the common factors, we have 2 and w so 2 times w is 2 w and for the remaining factors we have 3 and then 3 w's so we have w raised to 3 and for 8 w we still have 2 times 2 is 4 right so for binomial Factor, we have 3w raised to 3, since this is minus sign, 
So we'll just put minus 4. And as the result, the factors of 6, W raised to 4, minus 8, W, we have 2, W times 3, W raised to 3, minus 4. And there you have it. Now, it is your turn. You may pause this video to answer the given problems. You may write your answers in the comment section. And we will show the answers after a few seconds. Alright, here are the answers. Good job if you got those right. If not, no worries, just keep practicing. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep working on those factorizations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on our next episode. Bye!